Hello everyone and welcome to the studio. If you're new here, then hello, my name is Megan and today I'm going to be doing a review over the iPrint from Home printing service company. <laughs> Quick disclaimer, I am in no way sponsored by this company. I wasn't asked to make this video. I'm just making it because I know that whenever I was trying to find a place to print out my artwork, I couldn't find that much information on this specific company. So I'm hoping this video will help and I'll get into the samples that I just kind of showed earlier in a minute. I'm going to show you how my order came from them. As you can see, there was a really nice thick cardboard in there which helped prevent my prints from getting bent during shipping. It also came in a really nice and sturdy envelope, which I'll show later on, where you can kind of judge the thickness of them. Now, I ordered the same art piece in three different sizes, a 5x7, 8x10, and 11x14. And the reason I did this was because I'm planning on selling a bunch of these. And there you can see the thickness of the, the envelope, by the way. I'm planning on selling these prints, hopefully. <laughs> But anyway, moving on, I'm going to start with my 5x7s and work my way up to my 11x14s. So these are the 5x7s. I ordered mine with some borders. I ordered these with half an inch borders along the sides. And as you can see, the backs say premium photo paper. So if you don't like that kind of thing happening on your prints, I would suggest not to get uh, the luster inkjet print. That's what these are, and that's what all of my prints are going to be. So... Yes, but you'll see later on that when I get to the larger ones, it's not actually there, which is interesting to me. They're a good thickness. Um, they're not too uh, fragile or uh, bendy, which is good. A nice weight, and since they're the luster version, they have a really nice kind of texture on the top. I don't know if you were able to see that, but don't worry because we'll get into the samples later, like I said. So if you're interested in that, you can skip ahead. I'll try to leave a timestamp somewhere where you can know where to skip to. So these are the 8x10s that I have. Again, it says the same thing, premium photo paper. I'm so sorry that my camera did not want to focus today. I do like how clear these came out. Uh, that kind of has to do with how you photograph your artwork, though, too. I don't have a scanner, personally. I just photograph my artwork with my phone. And here's me comparing it to my 5x7s, which they look very similar, if not the same. So that's great. I want to note here that I got mine with 1-inch borders on these. The last one that I showed you had half an inch, and these have a one inch border. So here's the close-up versions that I can show you and my signature on the bottom. I'm really happy that everything came out really clear. I am grateful for that. Now let's move on to my 11 by 14s. Here are my 11 by 14s. As you can see, the backs of these do not have that premium photo paper, which is interesting to me. It's the same type of luster inkjet print, so I don't know if that just has to do with a certain size or what. So here's a comparison between that 11 by 14 with the 8 by 10 and the 5 by 7. So even between the different sizes, they all came out really similar, if not the exact same. So that's really good, and I'm really happy about that. The 11 by 14s that I got also have a 1 inch border that's the same with the 8 by 10s. The only one that differs is the 5 by 7. So here's another print that I got of a strawberry picture that I painted. And this one turned out really good. I'm proud of it. The 8 by 10 size and everything came out really clear. I actually had this printed out beforehand um, using a different type of option with them and it didn't turn out as clear. I used the same photo and everything and I don't know why that happened. But when I switched to using the ink the inkjet prints, it just came out a lot clearer. So that's been my personal experience with this company. Now I'm going to show you the samples that they send out. Starting off, we're going to look at the Luster Photo Inkjet. So this is the exact type that I used in my prints that I just showed you, unless you skipped ahead. As you can see, you can see the texture there. And I've heard that the luster versions are better for showing detail. I'm not that sure, but from my experience, that seems to be true. Next up, we have the glossy photo inkjet. It's the same thing as the other one, except this one is glossy, not luster. And this one actually is really nice. It has a nice finish to it. And here is the texture. When I start turning it, you'll be able to see. It's not as textured as that luster version, but it does have a nice sheen to it. Next up, we have the luster photographic print. This is just the same as the luster inkjet print. The only thing that I've noticed that is different with this one is that the white doesn't appear very white. It's almost more of a warmer off-white color. And here I'm going to show you the difference. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. 
Yeah, you can definitely see the difference there. The Luster Photo Inkjet appears a lot more of a pure bright white, while the Luster Photographic just appears slightly yellowish. And that's one thing that also turned me away from using the photographic print. If I wanted something to look white in my art piece, I really wanted it to appear bright white. Also, I believe that this type, the photographic print, is the cheaper option that you can get. And maybe that has to do with them not being as bright white. Here's the glossy photographic print. Again, this is the exact same as the glossy inkjet print. These just have the uh, warmer white tone. So if you like that, that's perfect for you, then good for you, that's great. It was just something that I personally didn't like. And again, here's a comparison between the inkjet and the photographic print, in case you were wondering. The, there's not that much of a price difference. I know I said that the photographic was cheaper, but it's really not that different of a price difference. I will say from the video, the photographic glossy print seems a lot more glossy on camera. Moving on, we have the semi-matte photographic print. Um, this is one that I got the strawberries printed out on. I thought it was going to be a lot more matte than this, but as you can see, it's almost a mixture between the glossy print and the luster print. It almost has that texture of luster, but it has that shine like glossy does. Again, this one has a warmer white tone to it. I don't have a luster, I'm sorry, I don't have an inkjet print to compare this one to. You're just going to have to take my word on that one. Now we're going to move into what I would uh, classify as like these specialized kind of prints. This one is a metallic photographic print. I think this one would look really cool if you didn't put a border on it because the white appears very silver and very gray. But if you had a print that didn't have borders and used a lot of dark colors or contrasting colors, I think this would look really cool. It has a nice glossy finish and I'm comparing it here to the other colors so you can see that these, or that this one appears very gray or silver. And the, it makes the other photographic prints appear very white because of that. But again, those photographic prints are kind of yellowish. The next type you can get is called a canvas giclée. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, it's a very flimsy, well, I mean, it's canvas, textured kind of paper. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see the texture. It looks just like what you would expect a canvas to look like, and it has a nice linen feel. I would not get this one if you're wanting something that's very detailed. You'll see later, if you're going to take a picture of somebody and get it printed out on this, you're going to lose a lot of those details and features. And I'll zoom into the faces down there so you can see what I'm talking about. Next up, we have the Somerset Velvet Gicle. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> I really like this one. This one, to me, feels the most like a art print or... Um, maybe watercolor paper. It has a really nice texture to it, but it's not overly textured like the uh, canvas one we just saw. It feels a lot thicker than a cardstock. If you can imagine holding a piece of watercolor paper in your hands, this is the that's the best way I can describe it. I'll show you what the back of this paper looks like because you can see the texture a lot clearer that way. I want to mention that this paper is very thick, so I think that it would make a really nice art print if that's what you're wanting to do. Next up, we have the Deep Matte Gicle, and this one also would make a really nice art print kind of form. It's very, very, very sharp. <laughs> the image looks super sharp on here. Again, that probably has to do with how you photograph or scan in your artwork or your photographs, but to me, I like it, and the colors seem extremely vivid, at least compared to all the other pictures that we've seen. One thing I really wish this company would do is use the same kind of photo on each of the samples. I know they do the same thing, like the same photo on the bottom half, but it would be nice to see the same picture on the top, just to get a really nice and even and equal comparison between all of them. One thing that's nice about the company is that they also give you this little thing where you, if you refer somebody, you can get $12 back when they spend 10 So I think that's nice. I'm not probably not going to do it. If I do, I'll have my information linked in the description box. If you would like to pause and read this uh, for yourself, it's just a letter that came with it talking about the samples. Feel free to do so. So that's my experience with using this company. Well, I've only ordered, honestly, twice from them and... 
the second the pictures that I've showed you at the beginning were all of the same type of print so I couldn't give you much information on the rest of them but I do hope that the samples helped if you were interested in getting something from this company in my experience they seem to have really reasonable prices and I think if you order over $35 worth of prints you can get free shipping I'm sorry if you can hear the rain outside it's storming and the company seems to be marketed towards artists and photographers of course those two go hand in hand but um, if those are things that you like to do and are interested in getting some prints of your artwork i suggest going to check them out i'll leave a link to their website in the description box as well as the referral kind of thing if i can figure that out um, again i'm not sponsored by this company i just i whenever i was looking for finding a way to get my art printed. I couldn't find too much information on them on here on YouTube. So I really do hope this helped. If it did, leave a like or a comment. Also feel free to subscribe. I'm an art channel here. So if you like art, then maybe you'll like me. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, stay creative and be kind.